Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to download and install the Bing wallpaper app. So that way you could have different wallpapers every day on your computer, or you could change them manually if you want. So you probably know when you go into Windows you have your default uh, wallpapers, and you could also uh, use your own pictures or download some, and so on. Uh, we also have a video on how you could use the uh, Windows Spotlight images for your background. Those are the ones where you first sign in and it has that picture at the login screen. But if you want to use the Bing wallpaper app, all you need to do is go to the website here, which I'll put a link in the description, download and install it. So I already have it downloaded, so let's install it here. I would uncheck these unless you want MSN as your homepage and Bing as your default search provider. Install now. You can see it's even changed the wallpaper before it's even done installing. Okay, click on finish. So now there's the wallpaper and it tells you it's down in the system tray. So if you want to change it, so just look for the little Bing symbol here, click on it. And then you can change your wallpaper on the spot if you want. Otherwise it'll change it every day unless you check this or unless you uncheck this option, then it'll keep the one that you're on. So it's pretty simple, you know, if you want to just go see what it's got manually or have it updated every day. Uh, I'm not sure how often it puts in new wallpapers, so you'll have to run it for a while and see. But it's just a quick way to get some nice wallpapers and have it, you know, cycle them through every day. So like I said, I'll put a link in the description for that. You could download, install it, and if you don't like it, uh, you could, uh, you know, just quit it, it'll keep the wallpaper but it won't change it. Then if you don't like it, you could go and uh, change your wallpaper to something else. You can pick for your, from your recent images or you could go to your apps and uninstall it and then you'll be back to uh, the defaults. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.